بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ناؤ وی آر گوئنگ ٹو سی ہاؤ وی کین یوز میٹرکس ایٹ دا ریسیور فار ڈی کوڈنگ پیریٹی چیک میٹرکس از یوز فار ڈی کوڈنگ ایٹ ریسیور پیریٹی چیک میٹرکس از ڈونوٹیڈ بائی ایچ ایچ کین بی کنسٹرکٹیڈ بائی ایچ از ایکل ٹو ٹرانسپوز آف پیریٹی بٹ میٹرکس پی اینڈ آئیڈینٹی میٹرکس آف سائز اینڈ مائنس کے where p is the same parity bits, bits matrix that was used to construct g for encoding and i is identity matrix so it is just simply the matter of uh, using the term when we are using a matrix at the encoding side then we call it a generator matrix and when we are using a matrix at the decoding side then we call it a parity check matrix how do we construct a parity check matrix it's very simple we actually construct it from the generator matrix in the generator matrix systematic generator matrix we know that this part is parity bit matrix so first of all we separate this parity bit matrix out of this generator matrix that is p is equal to 1110011 and 1101 now after that we just simply take the transpose of p so the transpose of any matrix is simply the ch uh, changing of uh, columns to rows or rows to columns so this 1110 is written as col uh, row 1110 and 0111 column is written as 0111 row and 110 column is written as 1101 row after taking the transpo transpose of p we simply generate a an identity matrix which is of size 3 by 3 in this case because n minus k as we know that it is the number of parity bits and the number of parity bits uh, for 7 comma 4 code is 3 and then we just write them both together the first we write the parity transpose and then we write the identity matrix now how do we uh, detect the error what we do is that we simply multiply the received code word with the transpose of the parity check matrix which is H so to uh, dec uh, det detect the error first of all we have to find the transpose of H. The transpo uh, transpose of this H is given as this one. And as we know, the transpose is simply the changing of rows to columns. Here we have changed this row to written down this in the form of column over here. And if after multiplication of uh, received code word with H transpose if we get 0 then it means there is no error in the received code word but if there is any error then we will get some kind we will not get all the zeros but we will get some combination of ones and that combination of ones will indicate the location of the error and that is called error syndrome now we can construct the error syndrome table using the same uh, H of T uh, or transpose of parity check matrix as we know that this uh, for example this one this E over here is nothing but simply this one indicates the location of the error so this is the location of the error in the uh, first bit from the right hand side and this one shows that there is error in the received code word from the uh, look at location number two from the right hand side and so on. what we do is that we simply multiply this by this h of t the multiplication process is same as when we are multiplying the information bits with the generator matrix what we will do is that we will simply multiply this whole uh, column with this uh, e then we will multiply this whole column with this E then we will multiply this whole column with this E one by one and the easiest way to determine uh, the result is very simple as we know that if we multiply one by zero 
then we'll always get uh, zero. Either zero is over here or here. So if, for example, if I have got one over here and zero over here, then I will get zero. And as in this case, zero is here and one over here, then again, I will get zero. So I don't need to consider the zeros. What I need to consider only one. As we are the number of ones is less in this error than this one. So first of all, I, I what I am concerned about is only this one because at all these locations, I will always get zero. So what is what I get when if I multiply this one by this location over here? If uh, there is one over here, then I will get one. If there is zero, then I will get zero. As in this case, I can see that when I multiply this one by this zero, I get zero, as you can see over here. Then if I multiply this one by this zero, again, I get zero over here. And if I multiply this one by one, then I get one over here. So this is very simple. It says that the error syndrome says that this is zero, zero one over here. It's the same way we can uh, f find the error syndrome uh, for this one. I have to just look at the location number two here. So as you can see that what I'm doing is that I'm just going from bottom to upward. The error syndrome is 001 for S1. For this S2 it is 010. For S3 it is 100. For S4 it is 011 for s5 it is 110 for s6 it is 111 and s7 is 101 so i have written down the values which we uh, which we have calculated uh, in the previous slides as in tabular form over here now let's go through an example suppose a 7,4 transmitted code word was 10 C is equal to 1011000 and single error occurred during the transmission and the received code word become V is equal to 1001000. Now as you can see this third this bit over here has been toggled or has uh, is flipped from 1 to 0. Error has occurred at this location. Let's find the error on the received code word. Now, <coughs> this is the same parity check matrix which we have developed or which we have constructed in previous slides. And we take the transpose, we already have taken the transpose of H uh, parity check matrix, and we simply multiply this uh, received code word V with this H of T. Again, the method is very simple. We are not concerned with the, uh, at the location where we have got these zeros. Our concern is at only this one and this one. So this one is over here. The, uh, we're multiplying this one by one, I get one. And multiplying fourth uh, bit, one, two, three, four, this is zero by one. Uh, multiplying this zero by one, I get zero. So the answer is one. The answer is one over here. Now I multiply this one by zero, answer is zero. I multiply this one by one, I get one. So again, I get one over here. Now I multiply this one by one, I get one. And when I multiply this one by this one, I get one. B now I have to add these two ones. So one by uh, one plus one in modulo two addition is zero. So the answer is one, one, zero. From sim uh, syndrome table, I can s see this 110 corresponds to 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0. So it says that the error is at this location. I go over here and see, I correct this bit and the result is 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0. And I get the correct uh, decoding and uh, the error has been detected and corrected and we receive the corrected code word.